Welcome back guys. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you who are new, we cover all things fitness, strength, powerlifting, and just great content related. So if you want to get stronger, hit that subscribe button. Today we are continuing the theme of Ask Coach Calf, Ask King Calf questions. And so a question I received about two weeks ago was how are you currently training? So I got this question right as I was doing a deload week and it was perfect timing because I just started a new block of training. So I'm gonna show you what that week looked like. I'm gonna go through my split, my lifts, the structure, and just so you can get a look inside my head, see what I'm doing. So honestly, right now, I'm not actually training for anything in particular. The World Prepping Championships in Belarus is still up near for Canadians. Um, so I'm still, I still obviously want to stay in shape just in case I do have the opportunity to go, but I don't think the Canadian Crafting Federation has made, uh, like a concrete choice if they're sending their athletes there yet, if they're sending their athletes there yet. So I want to be prepared in case they are, but as of right now, I'm not totally really peeking for anything. So I'm just more trying to stay in shape. So. I've been enjoying my time inside. It's nice that, you know, things are starting to open back up a little more as vaccines are rolling out. And before all the snow melted, I actually got a little bit of time in the backyard with my nieces. They were teaching me how to skate. As you can see, I am a professional skater. I should be going to the NHL very soon. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the program. So. How I structure right now is currently I am squatting two times a week with a primary day and a secondary day. Same thing for deadlifts. I'm deadlifting twice a week with a primary and secondary day and then benching three times a week with a primary and then two secondary days. And I'm kind of focusing on different, you know, goals for each workout. So how does day one look? Take a look. Is it up here? Up here? So anyways, day one is my primary squat day. So I'm starting with a top single and for day one, it was at an RP of seven. So for those of you who aren't familiar with RP or reps in reserve, so basically if I do RP of seven, then I should have about three more reps left in the tank or three more reps in reserve. So if it was an RP of eight, then I might have two, so and so on and so on. So it works kind of that way. But what I'm also doing is using percentages to kind of keep me keep a range of what I should be looking at as well. So if you look at my first day, I did my first set at RP of seven of 500. And then I dropped down to my top triple, which was a triple at 475. And so basically how it works when I go into the next, my next two sets. So I create a range using a percentage of my previous triple. And then I use that range to kind of focus, keep it, you know, inside the bracket of my targeted RP. So I was kind of lazy here as I didn't write everything down on the spreadsheet, but I want these sets in that 6.57 range. So it was nice because my formula kind of matched my RP number in my head. So it all led up. But the reason I do this is because the percentages give me kind of a target of what to, what to try and sit inside. And let's say I'm having a really great day or really just bomb day, I can use my RPs to kind of auto-regulate auto if I need to go outside of that percentage per se. So then after my top triple, I got into where the work starts with my fours. So that's just adding in some more volume. So I did one set of four at 440 and then dropped and did three sets of four at 420 pounds. And then after that, it was more just accessory work. So I didn't record, so you can see I did front squats, two sets of eight at only 135 pounds, just to get some more engagement in my quads. I did them pretty, pretty temp. I did tempo front squats just to, you know, focus on form and getting, you know, some nice, some nice hypertrophy in there as well. And then, but this is very bad. I didn't record my numbers for Bulgarian squats. I'm sometimes bad as I don't always as I don't always record my accessories. You want to record everything because you also want to progress in your accessories just like how you're progressing in your main lifts. And as you know, one of the most important factors of strength training is progressive overload. So as you progressively overload your main lifts, you want to do the same thing with your accessories to make sure you're still moving forward. All right, so that is day one. Let's move on to day two. Day numero two, before we get there, do you guys want to see 
I'm honestly growing a rainforest in my house. Let's let's take Side a look note. at this. Here's the exotic collection of plants. Let's feed these bad boys. Okay, you guys are probably getting sick of me. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the program while you want to see this video, but that is a pretty good collection, don't you think? Anyways, day two, we are bench pressing. So this is actually secondary day of bench. And so how it's structured is we are doing sets of five. And basically we're doing five sets of five with that same, with a similar kind of, for, with a similar format of my squats on day one. But I'm so I have my top set of five, which RP of six, and so I did 285. And then I used a percentage to kind of build a range for my first back off. So that was another set of five, which I did at 265. And again, that was an RP of six and a half, around six, around seven. And then I had my last drop down, which was three sets of five, where I did 240. And again, it was based on a percentage of that previous set while also staying in the RP of six and a half. So that's how my day two worked. And then for accessories, I just got some back work in there. So I did barbell rows and then I also did, uh, what's it called, rear delt flies with some with some weights. Just to, what I actually, you can never do enough rear delts. Well, you can, but one of the, this is just a side note, one of the things that I find a lot of strength athletes or just bodybuilders or just a lot of people work out in general is we do a lot of, you know, forward movements or movements in that plane where we're either pushing or, or pressing. And basically we do a lot where we're working our chest and front delt muscles, but we don't do a lot to hit the back or shoulders or rear delts. So face pulls, rear delt flies, stuff that you can really hit those external rotators or shoulders are going to be amazing to help decrease muscular imbalances and keep your shoulder healthy. So don't skimp out on the work that's going to hit your external rotators. Your shoulders will thank you and it'll help decrease the risk of injury moving on. So that's why I always love to make sure I'm doing uh, rear delts a few times during the week and I love doing the math right bench as well. All right, so that is day number two. What does day number three have in store? Day number three is one of my favorite days of the week. Can you guess it? Deads. So it's actually my secondary day of dead. So it's not too spicy yet, but so I do five sets of one rep and pause just under my mid shin. So like as soon as I get the bar off the ground, I'm doing a pause for a second just to stop the momentum and then go. And why I'm doing pauses is it really helps you to focus on proper bracing, staying nice and tight. So if you don't stay tight during that pause, you're gonna lose your form, it's gonna be hard to finish that lift. So it's really important to stay nice and tight and stay nice and come back when you're doing pause deadlifts. And I, it's just an accessory that really helps with my comp deadlift, so I love adding this movement in. And then, so I also add a component where I had rest periods of only 45 seconds. So I had the timer going, and as soon as 45 seconds ended, hit the next rep. So I got through it very quickly. So it wasn't super heavy in terms of load, but it was just kind of helped me to re reinforce that good movement pattern and good structure of good structure while I'm doing my pause deadlifts. So I did five sets of one at 500 pounds, and again it was about an RP of seven. So as you can see, you're seeing a theme for my first week of lifts. I'm staying around that RP of six and a half, six, seven range. And as I progress my weeks, I'm gonna increase the RP by a little bit. So next week, I'm gonna be more in that seven, seven and a half range. And it's gonna keep increasing as my weeks go on to keep adding that progressive overload. So then when I finished my pause deadlifts, I got in some more hamstring and glute work. So I did uh, RDLs, I did, here it says two sets of eight, I actually did three sets of eight at 245 pounds nothing crazy and then I did some biceps because ah, it's almost beach season so you know you want to get that in there <laughs> I'm just playing but I side note I actually hate doing arms I only I should do arms more but I really only add them in when I'm starting to feel self-conscious as vain as that sounds it's just me I'm just being real with you guys all right on to the next one day number four so this is my primary bench day. And so this is kind of fun because I get to hit a single on my bench. So I started with a one by one at seven. So it was 330 pounds. And again, following the theme of everything, it was in a 
So I had a recommended range based off my one art, my one rep max for bench overall, which is about 376. So that range kind of put me in, I think it was between 320 to 340 for what I could bench. And then I chose 330 because that felt, you know, kind of where that RP of seven would be for my bench on that day. And then, so next I got into my volume work. So I started with that kind of, I was doing four, so the top, the top set of four, I did a 300, 300 pounds. And then from there, I dropped down where I did two sets of four at 290 and then another two sets of four at 265. So this is kind of interesting. How I do my drop downs for these is it's one plus four. So if I can do all these four sets of 290 at an RP of seven, then I will. But if I feel that you know, that RP is starting to turn into like, let's say an eight or eight and a half or a nine. Then I drop down to that 265 range so I can maintain that RP of seven or six and a half. And then I, so then again, that load is based off of a percentage range while following that RP of six and a half, seven. And then after that, I just did some, you know, more rows and rear delt work. All right, day number five. Day number five is not too interesting, but you gotta get the work in. So it is my secondary squat day. It was a pretty short day. I do have some accessories. I just didn't write them down anymore. It's kind of based on what I feel. So I did a bit more quad work and then I did a lot of abs after as well on day five. So I did some planks, some rotational work and some stability stuff as well. So this day is actually a pause squat day. And how, how I kind of function it is I had that top set of five for with 400 pounds and I was sticking with an RP of six. And then I dropped down to three sets of five at 350 pounds. So RP of six, it was nice and comfortable. I was making sure I had a good pause at the bottom and then shot up. And yeah, it was just a good day. Just keep, just get more volume in there for my second day and nothing crazy. So it doesn't affect my day six, which is my favorite day of the week my deadlift, my primary deadlift day. So this is fun, but before I actually do my primary deadlift day, I have my third bench day. So I, right here, it says Larson comp bench. So I did one set of seven with Larson bench. And so that's feet up, RP of 6.5 6 and, and I had two, 245 pounds. So here I'm more just focusing on, I'm obviously removing the leg drive out of the bench press by doing the Larson press and just kind of trying to get more volume in with a higher rep scheme. And then I did some actual bench press after. So I did three sets of seven at 220. Actually, this is one set of seven for Larson press. I actually did three and then I did three sets of bench after. So I need to adjust that. That was just an error of me when I was recording my spreadsheet. And then after I got into my primary deadlifts. So here we have one set of one at 615 pounds, which was an RP of six. So fast, easy, smooth, just to, you know, start start increasing my intensity and getting a feel for what singles are like again. Cause I also, I also don't always do singles. I'm just, you know, introducing them into this block. And then, so after I had a top triple of 555, and so my range for that, my percentage range was between, I think it was, Oh, I need to check. I think it was 94 or 98, it was between 94 and 97% of that first of my top set. And so it, or it gave me a range of around 550 to 590. And I chose to go in the lower end based on what I was feeling. So I did 555 to stay in that RP6 or RP5, was it five or six range? And so it felt good. And then my drop downs was one set of four at 505 and then two sets of four at 475. Just get some more volume in, but I'm not killing myself just to get that working. So that is what my training week looked like. And so right now I'm running my, I'm running four week blocks. So I basically have four weeks where I'm gradually increasing the intensity each week. And then I'm almost adding a little bit of volume as I go. And then my fifth week is a deload and then I restart. So that's how I'm kind of programming right now. And this is what my workout pro workout program looks like. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
if you i do have some free workout templates on my website and my blogs i'll link to them if you are looking for strength coaching links will be in the description you can hop on over to my website i am accepting three new clients so usually when i open up you know spots up quickly so if you do want to get that spot sign up quickly we are hoping to bring on some more people soon and some more staff so i can start taking on more athletes which will be great thanks a lot for watching guys if there's anything you want me to cover in the future let me know i got some great kf merch links will be in the description and thanks a lot for watching love you guys i hope this video was helpful let me know what you want to see if this content is for you train hard train smart see results get cat and we will catch you next time